my stepfather, who's like a very like s like sober thinking, like rational person, went to Gettysburg. Mm. And he said, you can feel the sadness. Yeah. He goes, it just feels horrible. Like you're there and you just, you feel death. Mm -hmm. He goes, I've never felt anything like that. Like you're at a battleground mm -hmm. and you know, even though it's 200 years ago or whatever it was, less, less yeah. than 200 years ago, you, you feel it. He goes, you yeah. can feel it. He goes, I want, I had to get out of there. Yeah. Like, that's I, the thing with some of these places. It's, it's not necessarily like, oh, like, you know, immediately just like, oh yeah, this is spiritual energy or whatever like that, but it's just heavy yeah. or it's just like you feel off when you go into these places like as soon as you stepped into the uh the conjuring house have you ever yeah. seen the conjuring movies yes so they're actually based on a real house in rhode island and that was one of those places that we had walked into and, and you were like almost getting nauseous. i almost threw up and i'm i'm not so what's interesting about the paranormal and what we've learned the past four years is that it affects people differently some people can see stuff some people claim they're mediums and can communicate more i feel like i have more of like an empathic like almost like i i just feel worse like whenever there's something around and so when we first walked into the conjuring house like uh, there was a point where i i thought i was going to throw up and i was looking for exits what's stuff. the real story behind the conjuring house what's the actual story so yeah the the movie story is like this witch Bathsheba or whatever but the actual story there's a bunch of different things that they say are, are haunted, but it's actually built on the grounds of the- Is that the house? That's yeah, it. Yeah, it's cool creepy. House. It's Rhode an amazing Island. house. Um, the state that launched the Conjuring universe. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what is a, like the Marvel Comics universe? What does that mean? The Conjuring universe? How weird. Oh, jeez. Yeah, geez. That's the problem. Like, people, when you, when you start making an industry out of something- it Turns so, into a business. Yeah, yeah, so what's the original story? So, um, the most- the most famous we'll get to, but like uh, it's built on the same grounds that the, the King Philip's War was fought mm -hmm. on, like right at the beginning of the uh, United States and everything. So the main people that haunt that are like seven dead soldiers that this little girl uh, always kept seeing in the walls. And thus it started manifesting more to the entire family. Mm -hmm. So this family called the Perrin family bought the place in like I think 1972. Uh, and for 10 years, they said they would see you know, these figures, these, these soldiers walking around, like their beds would shake, they would get scratches, like, and it kept getting worse over the 10 years. Um, and the crazy part is it got to become famous because of like the final day that like changed it all. Um, they wanted to do like an exorcism on the house uh, because I think, who was the mom Perrin? Uh, uh, whatever. Caroline or something? Caroline Perrin. Yeah, Caroline Perrin something was like getting like, really bad like she would have things happen to her every single day you know furniture would move all these sort of things she was she was getting like really rash with everything so she brought in these demonologists who were ed and lorraine warren ed and lorraine if you've warren. heard of them before no. they're like the the demonologists the paranormal investigators they are like the fathers of it all yeah. maybe i have heard of them are they, are they fe featured in the zach uh bagan yes yeah. yeah yeah okay that's where i've heard of them yeah which is also a crazy place yeah. we'll talk about that but yeah so anyway <laughs> I just went. really you just, yeah, went? I just went a couple weeks ago oh, no way yeah my daughter dragged me to that too <laughs> hey there we go <laughs> vegas uh yeah, yeah so they were doing this like exorcism and that's them yeah that's yeah them. yeah that's those folks Okay, and so they I, do an exorcism there. They were doing an exorcism, and I don't know exactly prior to what, whatever happened why they called it. She was just having a bad time just, like, you know, over the last couple of years, and they wanted it to end. Um, and to her claim, she was actually thrown, mm -hmm. um, like, across Levitated the entire, room. like, room and smashed into a wall to where she had in in injuries. Mm -hmm. And they were so angry about that that they actually kicked out the uh, demonologist. They punched Ed in the face. Yeah, they punched <laughs> that guy in the face because they thought he was the guy that was like making it worse. But I think it just like pissed him off. And so that thing. When you say a, they punched him in the face, you mean the ghost punched him oh, in the no, face? Oh, no, no, no. The, the parent the family. Dad, sorry. The dad oh, did or oh, okay. Yeah. The, the parent like, family what? was like. They're getting assaulted? <laughs> <laughs> the parent family, yeah, was like really. They punched upset. him in the face because he thought that he threw the wife across the room? Yeah. Or he was responsible he for it? thought they made it, or he was there, and, like, the exorcism that he was conducting made it more angry, which in turn hurt his wife. Oh, so he got a, a angry. He was yeah, like, stop you doing this. You brought him in. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's like yeah. hiring a priest Sell and then the house, punching bro. the priest. Right, like, right. Whatever. Move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with <laughs> you? down the street. Punching people. <laughs> Come on. So... <laughs> 
<laughs> the Perrin family actually wrote a book about that, and really? they say the Conjuring movies actually don't do it justice of all the things that happened and all the the movements mm-hmm. and the craziness that happened in that ten years that they lived there. They really? were like in the real life actually experiencing it and the trauma that they went through, it, they say it's like 10 times worse. Yeah. Uh, than and like, so they feel like it was dead soldiers, like murdered soldiers in on the battlefield? I'm Somehow not, another, sure. that's... Well, here's where it gets interesting is they don't know what it is, but they believe it is something more evil or demonic, whatever you believe in, um, that is like controlling all of these like soldiers and stuff and trapping them oh. um, movie goes with that's a person named Bathsheba who was like a neighbor who everybody just thought was a witch um, but in real life it was just known as a demonic possession but no trace back yeah of, like what it was. that's that's an interesting thing right like because that's in a lot of these cases they feel like it's not just ghosts but it's ghosts that are being controlled by some sort of a demonic entity right mm-hmm. and the demonic entity keeps these ghosts there which is like another layer mm-hmm. of belief you have to right. have. Like exactly. you just not don't just believe that maybe when people die their energy gets left behind and then maybe that energy gets controlled by demons <laughs> exactly. it's like, oh my god it's now like we're, another level we're so into crazy now yeah. i don't know if i'm willing to go there it gets meta <laughs> it gets very meta but if you did encounter a demon nobody would fucking believe you and then oh, you would no. be trapped you would be this person who for the rest of your life, there goes Bob and his fucking demon stories. <laughs> yeah. Like no one would buy it. But exactly. Same if, thing with aliens or right, anything. Like yeah, anything you right. see that are outside of this like logical physical world. Physical world. Normal daily encounters. Yeah. yeah. Anything outside of that. Bigfoot. Anything. Mm-hmm. Anything where you see things. And there's been many times where people have seen things that they they swear were real. And you go, God, that poor fuck. I would rather not <laughs> see those things and then just have everybody just looking at you. Oh, here comes Mike with his wacky idea. Right. 